Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I just wanted to go over service worker lifecycle because I know a lot of people are, at least online for Chrome extensions, like to talk about how service workers can only be around for 30 seconds before they go idle. So if you don't know, service workers basically follow a life cycle of installation, startup, and shutdown. And the shutdown stage of the life cycle is where the service worker goes idle. And specifically, the service worker goes idle if it has not received any events for 30 seconds. And a lot of people have use cases where they need the service worker to be essentially alive for longer than 30 seconds. And before I go into this, um, I want to mention that this is a snippet from my Chrome extension course, which you can find on courses.witcode.com, link in the description, where you'll learn all sorts of tricks like this. Uh, so if you're interested, go check it out. But essentially, let me show you this 30 second life cycle real quick. So say I refresh this. Let me set a 30 second timer over here, reset it. And let me refresh this, and then let's start this timer. And essentially we'll see around after this 30 seconds is up, we will see an inactive, just like this right here, next to our sample extension. So we're there, all right, so 30 seconds or so, right when we get to around that time, we can see how the service worker is now inactive. And so this can cause issues if say we're trying to work with the service worker, and we need it alive for longer than 30 seconds. However, the key is that the service worker will not shut down if it is consistently receiving events. So this 30 second timer is reset every time it receives an event. And consistently sending events to a service worker can be done in several ways, um, one of which is using long-lived connections of the runtime API, which is what I'm gonna do in this video. So I'm gonna close this, and here's our extension over here. That's this sample extension. And let me uncomment the code in both service worker and the content script. And essentially what we're doing is we're using the long-lived connection of the Chrome Runtime API, where on our service worker, we're listening out for connections. If we receive one, then we establish a port connection, and we, whenever we get a message down that port, we just send back Pong. And what is being sent is from our content script. So in our content script, we connect, we add a message listener to it, and then we have an interval of 10 seconds, where every 10 seconds we send a ping. And this right here, this message that we consistently send to the service worker, will keep it alive because it will be receiving an event. So let's uh, refresh this and let's go to, let's go to my courses site. And now let's open up our terminal and for console, let's go to our extension. And in here we should see, here's the response from the service worker right here, Pong, which is sent about every 10 seconds. And so when the service worker will keep receiving this, if we get to past three, because three times 10 is 30, if we get to say four, this will show that the service worker has been alive for longer than 30 seconds. So we're at three right now, keep waiting, and we're at four. So we can see how we are keeping our service worker alive for longer. And of course, there are several ways to do it. One of the fallbacks, of, or a problem with this, of course, is if this tab goes idle, then the, the connection will no longer be established. But yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you. So we can see we're at seven, so 70 seconds now it's been around for. But this is all I want to show you about service worker persistence. Um, once again, if you like this kind of content, you'll probably like my course right here on Chrome Extension Development. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.